welcome to today's tutorial on modeling a handgun in Blender and Blender Basics. So this is the fourth tutorial. Uh, I don't know how many will be in this series. I'm hoping to wrap it up shortly, but um, let's get started. So I thought this Blender logo background that I made in 3ds Max would be a uh, fitting background for this tutorial. So go ahead and open up your model, uh, the tutorial file that you should have saved. And first thing you'll notice is, right now, that I have all this text here. I'm actually going to make this full screen. Actually, no, I don't like it full screen. But, um, yeah. So, all this text here, um, if you're ever wondering how to do that, just hit Shift A, add text, drag that out of the gun, go into edit mode, and you can type in whatever you want and if you want to you can go up to text and change extrude to whatever you want that looks good um, and then if you want to make this into a mesh so you can still edit it if you want to make it into a mesh you go to object convert to mesh from text curve whatever and hit tab and boom you have your text mesh. So these are some notes that I have to do so first we're going to fix this so we can apply a mirror to it like this because uh, we accidentally applied it last time we not accidentally we had to. Um, so I had to fix so mirror can be applied and then t I, we're gonna fix this weird little point that I actually made last time I don't know if you did that or not. So let's delete the text and select this. Turn off the um, depth thing right here so you can see through x-ray. And first thing you want to do is you want to select all the verts on the bottom. Oops. Select all the verts on the bottom and hit X faces. Now you're going to see some straggling points here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into object mode right click our slide hit M and move to that move that to the second layer so we have it here now go back into edit mode and select all these bottom points and hit X vertices now you can see that broke quite a few things so right click this delete that vertice go into faces select this face hit X faces and that should be good for our vert problem. What you want to do here is you want to select these faces, right click these, hit X, or whoops, that's C, hit X faces. You want to stay away from modeling triangles like this because it'll only make it harder. So now go back into verts, merge at last, select these three, Face select these, or whoops, extrude. Select these three, then hit face. And you can see we have a lot of triangles. That's really bad. Um, but I mean, we we still kind of need them around here. And plus, we're not going to be messing with this area that much anymore. So we can still do that. Now, time to fix this. This is going to be the harder part to fix. What you're going to do is you're going to want to right-click this little vertice right here. It should be dropping down uh, and hit extrude Z and extrude it wherever you want. But make sure you extrude it on the Z axis so it's straight down. Now select either this point or this point and hit N. This will bring up the transform menu. Go up here and see where it says Z or 0000. Actually, sorry, you don't need to do that. Now right click this point. And since this one is set at 0000, just type in 0, and it should bring it to that point. Get out of that by hitting N again, and hit extrude, click, and then shift click merge at last. Do the same here. Shift click merge at last. Add a face. Add a face. Now as far as a mirror goes, we should be good right now. So go to modifier, add mirror, 
unclick X, click Z, and check clipping. And now we have our mirror. Now what you want to do is you want to find one of these vertices like this one, right click on it, hit N, and then select the Z and hit Control C to copy. And then right click this vertice, click Z and hit Control V to copy, and that'll send them at the perfect layer right there. It'll send them to the perfect depth. Now we have this, so save it. Um, now you can bring the slide back if you want. So we have the mirror applied. And actually now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click this, hit M, send to second layer. And now we're going to be working on the slide. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this little dip area right here. Again, it helps if you have a reference. Uh, like I've said before, I have a actual replica USP here as an airsoft gun. So that's really, it actually helps a lot when you're looking at it. But we're going to have to make a couple edits here. So first thing you're going to want to do is actually get rid of these faces here. Because see how, you remember, that. remember how I told you the triangles are bad? You want to get rid of all these triangles and it's really messed up here. So right click this, I don't know what that does actually. Um, yeah, so first off, right click this vertice, hit X, vertices, and then go into faces, right click this face, and this face, and hit X, faces. And now we have all this emptiness right here. We can actually leave that until the end, and then we can just cap that off, because it'll be really, it'll be actually a lot easier than having triangles there. Um, Actually, what you might want to do is you might want to right click this, extrude, and merge at last, and just uh, bridge that little gap there. I don't know why you would have to. I'm just saving frequently. Uh, but you could for later. Now go into wireframe mode by hitting Z, Control R, and now place this there wherever you want. Hit S, X, 0. And I'll scale everything on the X0 and it won't actually mess up anything because it's in a straight line. Move this line to about there and hit Control R. Move this line to about there. Now hit Control R for a third time. Move this line to the middle. And depending on how deep you want it, how are, uh, the, the resolution of it, you might want to do different things. So I'm just going to do three for now, but you can do however many you want. It'll just take longer later. Now hit Control R and go here. This loop cut here. And drag this up so it's level with this little area right there. And I'm looking to make sure everything's good. Actually hit SY0 to bring everything in line. Um, Sometimes you have to use triangles, but most of the time you can stay away from it. What you want to do here is actually merge these two. And now do the same here, merge these two. And adjust this. Now we have some problems here. So go back into solid mode, merge these, merge these, merge these, merge these, and we should be good there. So now we have this little area here. Control Z again, Control R, and make a loop cut at this point. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line this line up with this line. Or, yeah, line that up with this line. And then drag these points up so they match that little curve there. And 
Wait, don't drag those up. Select all these, drag this up, make sure to select that one, drag these up, and hit B and middle click, and hit grab Y and bring the rest of the points up. Will give us more of a what we're looking for. And if you want to, hit A, B, and then drag these up so it matches this little area right there. And it's starting to look like a gun. Now we still have to merge a couple of points down here. So, actually just select these, bring them up so that they're about even. Select them all, select all these, hit SX0. Oops, nope, sorry. SY0. Make sure they're all in line. And then just drag these, or right click the top one. Make, copy the X. Right click the bottom one. Paste the X. And you should be good. That was actually. Yeah, sorry, it confused me a little bit, but I'm good. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to select all these points right here. Just like that. Might want to go into normal object mode. I'm going to drag it down. Not that much, because it really doesn't dip that much. Drag the first one down a little bit and hit B, middle mouse drag. Select these points. Now drag the little ones down, the next ones down a little less. And now you have a little bit of a slope here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit A, B, select all the top points here. Yeah. And now drag these down. You're going to want to drag these down a lot to about like that. But if you look here, there's a little bit of an area where it changes. The shade changes and this is supposed to be flat. Okay, so I ran into this problem last time I was modeling a gun. And I actually remembered how to fix this now. So you're going to use the same right click and copy uh, method we've always been doing. And you're, this time you're going to select and copy the Z. And you're going to select all three of these. And you're going to paste the Z. Oops. You have to do these individually unfortunately which I just forgot. So individually select and paste the Z. Now if you go into object mode you'll notice that this is almost flat. All you have to do is select these and bring them down. What you're trying to do is you're trying to align them with that right there. So just play with them. It'll be uh, it'll take a little while, but you should get it. I'm not going to trouble myself too much with it right now. I'm just going to select and oh, keep the game. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. Wow. Uh, I just kind of screwed this up. Just ignore that. Um, play with it yourself. You can probably get it better than I just did. So now we have the slide done, and this tutorial is probably going on longer than I expected. But now the next part, we should make a couple cuts and make it actually look a little better. So go back into wireframe, control R, make a loop cut, 
and drag it down to about there. Hit SY zero. And we got a couple problems here, like this. If we want to drag this down, we're going to have to delete a couple things. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Z and you're gonna merge this down. You're gonna hit W merge at last, W merge at last, W merge at last. And now we got this. So hit A B, select all these verts, and drag them straight down to about here. Make sure to select this one too. SY0. Drag this out so it looks good. And now select all the bottom vertices. Every single last one on the bottom. And drag it. Oh, now go into one view. Sorry, I forgot about this. And deselect all the ones in the middle and in the little hammer code place. All you want are the top ones on the end. And then drag them down to about there. So that just about wraps up this tutorial. Uh, save it. But if you look, if we bring in this back. We'll see that it actually was really good. We will hopefully be finishing up in the next tutorial. Uh, I'll go over how to add the sights, um, how to add the little chamber where the bullet comes out. We'll rig it. So actually we have quite a few more tutorials left, but we should finish modeling it next. So um, yeah, see you next week. Subscribe to be alerted when next tutorial will be posted and leave a comment below on what you thought. See you next week.